What's up? I'm Keith Kelfus. I'm here with Dan Plata, CEO of Blue Skies Bookkeeping. He built a multi-million dollar window cleaning business. And uh, in the last video, you can put a link uh, put a link in the description below. You can learn more about why it's so important to get I have bookkeeping done in your business. But what is COGS? What is what is COGS? COGS. It's an acronym. It stands for Cost of Goods Sold, which is actually kind of funny since most of us are service businesses. We're not actually selling goods, so it's kind of just an accounting term. You. You may have been told by like a CPA or somebody else that t tells you they know more than you that you don't even have cost of goods sold. Well, maybe they're kind of right. Like we're not selling goods, but you sure as hell have an expense that happens every time you go out to do work. So COGS, cost of goods sold, is really just short for like the cost of the sale. How much does it cost you to go out and do the work at a job? You've got all the other like overhead costs in your business, all the other stuff going on, the marketing, the person in the office, the rent, whatever. Cost of goods sold is the expenses that happen every time you go out to do a job. Why so, is it important to know what your COGS are? You gotta know what your COGS are because you have to know when you go book a thousand dollar job, how much money you actually get to put back in your pocket. Now you're still gonna have other stuff you need to pay out of it, including yourself, but you need to know what the right target is for your industry and the target varies by industry. Um, but you also need to know when you're not hitting that number, why you're not hitting it and what you need to do differently. So the big, the big things in cost to get sold that you need to be thinking about. One, the obvious one is labor. Every time you do a job, you're paying somebody to do it. You like my responsibility shirt, Sponsicon, oh. dominate the day, baby. Um, shout out Kurt Kempton. Kurt so, Kempton, yeah. So COGS, big one is labor. Obviously you need to know how much you're spending on your people that are doing the work. The other ones are the fuel to get you out there and back and run your equipment, the supplies to perform the job, and sometimes even like the tools that you're using um, over time, the it, the workers' comp insurance, damages and repairs. Like over time, stuff is going to get damaged and you're going to have to fix it. Damages and repairs, merchant processing. Do you ever charge a credit card? Yes. Do you, do you expect to get paid by the customer every yeah. time you do a job? Yes. Somebody's got to put that money in the bank, either a credit card company or you. So it's cost of doing the job, getting paid. So cost oh. of goods sold. You're measuring everything that happens every time you go out and do a job. And if it starts getting out of line, you need to know where it's out of line and assess, are my guys wasting supplies? Are my guys inefficient and not producing fast enough? Are we damaging stuff every time we're going out? You got to know, you got to dial in so you know what problem you're trying to solve. You don't have to try to solve all the problems. Ideally, if you're doing a good job of managing your P&L, you only have one problem to solve, maybe a couple, but having a good P&L and knowing what your numbers should be helps you dial in and focus on the one or two things that you need to spend your time on so you don't feel overwhelmed like you need to fix your whole business. Usually it's just one or two things, and ah. it's a system or a process. Um, and if you know what it is, you can implement it and save some money. And save some money. So you said P&L. In the next video, we're going to talk about P&L and what is a P&L statement. Click the links below and we're going to learn about what is a P&L statement and why it's so important for your business. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. I'll put all the links to Dan Plata and everything about his business. If you need help with the bookkeeping and your business, click the link below.